What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 video. And today is a special one hour long, or I guess kind of however long I want to go, video. Uh, I plan on making this one really, really, really long, going through probably this car, or definitely finishing this car. Most likely finishing and, or starting and finishing this car, and probably just starting that Mustang back there. So that's plans for today's video. Uh, I know everybody, or a lot of you at least, uh, really enjoy the uh, longer episodes. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's just get started on this truck here. Just jump right in. And my plans for this truck are to, because it's not really, how do you say it? There's not really much to it. Like, when we've already done, like, a performance build on a truck, I'm just going to go all the way through it and just get, just repair it, just so I can get the money. Mainly because, I mean, yeah, it looks like we have a lot of money up there, but that's only because I sold that Bentley T-Series we had. And we still got that Mustang to do, and we have a Hellcat to do. Oh, yeah, a Bolt Hellcat to go do that's sitting in our garage, or sitting in our parking garage. So we just need, we need to do all those, because those are all the performance cars we really want to do. So this one and the Bullthorn Grand Mojave, we're probably just going to leave be. Oh, whoa, what was that? We will do everything 100% though. So do not worry about that. So camshaft for V8s. We need three and we need some spark plugs. eight there we go did manage to save any cam gears we did not all right where are these at oh just regulars okay and oh still got some good fuel filters that's good to see Managed to save an intake manifold from last time. And we got two fuel rails. It's off to a good start, actually. And then we have no air filter cover. Still got them clips. I don't think I've ever gotten unlucky enough to lose clips, everybody. So I got that going for me in this game so far. I've never lost a clip. Actually, I lost one clip on an ignition dis distributor way back. I think it was on the Mustang, but that's the only one I've lost. I haven't lost any of the ones for the air boxes. Because those are extremely annoying to have to take off and put back on. And ugh. All right. Do we have to put these belts on before we can put the head covers on? We need two V8 timing belts. All right, uh, one there and a uh, one there. Oh, 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 God. Let's find a cover for a V8, there she is. And we got four to put back in. All right, we got part B over here. And then I guess right side's part A. And then we will be, oh. Oh, and there we are. Oh, can't forget the coils. Okay, so I'm gonna go buy eight coils because we're gonna put this thing at 100%. See, I could probably finish the car pretty easily, but it really, like, if I didn't do it like 100%, I mean, did you really do it then? So I guess I just got, I just gotta do everything back to 100%, and because. You make your most you make the most return on your money for that so that will be the way that I'm doing these the only reason only, only times I ever don't do 100% is repairing uh, cars for like jobs when they call mainly because you get a repair bonus oh no that's awful but your repair bonus does not it's not dictated on what parts you replace that they didn't ask for say because if they didn't ask for me to go through and do like say like they had issues with the brakes and i see that the entire engine's rusted out 
I'm not gonna go through and do all their engine when they only wanted their brakes done. Because, I mean, I'm not really getting paid for that. I could do it, but yeah. I hope, I think, I think you guys understand what I'm saying. It's just, it's just not worth the time and money, really. Engine head cover. Am I missing something here? Um, I am. I'm totally missing something. Look for a V8 cover. Okay, I'm blind. Oh, it's a coils cover. So that's, a, that's just weird. Brake servos always surviving. Okay. Got the ABS pump. Got a good module. All right. Say so, and coming up here this week, guys. Um. If videos seem to slow down a little bit, that's because, I mean, they really are starting, they will slow down a little bit because I am going back off to college and I'm not really sure how, because this will be like my first week back and I'm not sure about the new schedule and everything. So if I maybe happen to miss a day or anything, don't freak out. Um, I will be definitely trying to get a car mechanic simulator video up once a day or once every other day depending upon what games we, we decide to be doing for that day there's that water pump but yeah so i'm gonna keep even though i'm in classes and everything i'm still gonna keep trying to pump out videos uh once a day but yeah so that's just something i thought i'd warn everybody about just in case it does happen i just want to apologize ahead of time so we need five roller b two roller a So one, two, three, four, five, one, two. And then we need a something with a water pump. Water pump pulley. We need a crankshaft pulley. See, these are things I don't even need to go check because I just remember them. Alright. Get a bunch of rollers slapped on here. Finish up the whole top end of this engine here. Oh. So I know I can fit another one right there. I gotta, do, I gotta do the serpentine belt A and B really quick. Serpentine belt A. Belt and B, there it is. A lot of belts. Alright, and the other thing is, is when you do the uh, repairs, repairs are a lot easier because they give you a parts list of everything you need. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, this, yes, they give you a parts list. But, if you look, some things we have, some things we don't. <gasps> what? No. We accidentally put in pistons that were not 100%. Oh no. How do we miss that? Oh, it's just a dumb mistake on my part. Mm. Oh, this is not going to be good. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna tear apart this top engine. I don't know. Okay, we'll just we'll do the suspension. We'll see how much money it gives us, because we'll probably get like a 96% restoration bonus. Which I mean, I'm okay with that, but oh man, that that sucks. That's really <laughs> oh man. But anyways, like I was saying, like they give you a. Uh, a list and you can see every single thing that you need or you can you really see where it is you need it and you know for a fact that you're gonna have to replace that part so and this you're not really sure because some things you repaired some things you didn't repair so I mean there's that oh wow did I put a new 
oil filter on there already. I did not remember putting a new oil filter on there. It is new. Dang it. Steering rack. Back of that front and drive axle. Um, exhaust. V8 exhaust pieces. Do we need a B or... Yeah, we need two Bs. We need two Bs and we need a middle a muffler. Oh, well, let's just look down here. Do we need middle muffler? Yeah, we need middle mufflers, catalytic converters. There we go. Front sway bar B. Dang it. Oh, whoa, whoa. Front sway bar B. There it is. Steering knuckle. Alright, so we need four rubber bushings, which I will do after this part. Save a hub? I did save. I saved both the hubs. Nice. And the detail on these are actually crazy. Okay, so we need four rubber bushings and both tie rods. Alright, one, two, three, four. So we need then we need tie rods. One, two, one, two. I think I bought three there. Oops. Um two of these. Two of those. I have any calipers. I do have some calipers. Alright, so we need a wheel hub bearing, double wishbone, and front end link B. We'll just type in link. And then we need a wishbone. We need the wheel hub bearing. We need to get the CV axle going next. But we'll put these parts on first. Okay, then front spring. All right. So we're mainly just doing um, this truck here and that Grand Mojave. Just for the money, guys. They're probably, they're probably not the... I mean, the truck's pretty cool. I like, I like how big the trucks are and everything. But they're probably not the coolest thing in the world. But they're what we gotta do to get the money to actually like. What do you what do you say? You gotta you gotta have all that money. Oh, we lost two rims earlier. Dang. You gotta have the money so that we can actually start like the performance and everything. And we are gonna make that car into a drag car. So we are going to definitely be putting racing slicks on that. I don't know if I already put the racing slicks in or not. I don't think I did, but tires are going to be basically the racing slicks they have no tread on them so like big trucks and everything they have like huge huge amounts of tread on them because they want to grip the dirt and everything but um the racing slicks have nothing on them because they're just driving on a smooth surface and the smoother the surface um and like the less holes or like gaps they have which is basically makes it so that the tire has more like contact with the ground, AKA like more friction, more grip, which I mean the car will go faster. So that's why tires are like the, one of the most important things um, to a car. Like, like if you're gonna go for, what was it? Oh, I saw this one thing, it said that if you either put a turbo on a car and took it around the track or you put a new set of tires on um basically adding all the horsepower from that turbo wouldn't matter at all if you weren't able to grip around the corners because otherwise you'd spin out and your times would be awful and you'd just be better off not putting a turbo on in general but if you had to put the tires on and did all that then yeah like i don't know there's a lot of science behind it i don't know if you guys care or not oh nope I don't know if you guys care or not, but oh, I spelled that wrong. But there is a 
Let's see, C axle, A axle. But there's a lot of sciences behind it, sciences behind cars. There's actually a really, really good YouTube channel for it called uh, Engineering Explained. That's like, I subscribe to that dude. He is a genius. Um, I think he was like a, he was like an engine. Yeah, he was an engineer. He was a mechanical engineer, and then he decided to become a a YouTuber, basically. He said he didn't really like everything he was doing. Oh gosh, and he wasn't really happy with it, so he became a YouTuber. And he said it was a lot better and everything, which is crazy. Because he was a mechanical engineer. But he says he wasn't working on like cars like he wanted to be. and So instead he just started basically learning all about cars and the physics and everything behind cars. And I don't know. This is not like sponsored or anything. I'm just, I'm just talking. Alright. Oh, 2% on that? That is awful. Front drive shaft, 4x4. I think I did a B1. Yeah, there we go. Huh. Alright, front is all done. So we can get the. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Wrong piece of exhaust there. We just need an exhaust pipe. That's all we need. Oh, come on. Let me click. There we go. Man, did we really lose that other axle? Rear leaf spring drive axle. Looks like we managed to save a lot of these parts, though. Man, if you think about it, these restorations, like, like, this is a lot. Like, this isn't, like, just, like, a re <laughs> This is, like, a full-blown, like, makeover. Take everything out, but the shell, fix the shell, and put everything back together. Like, that's a lot. Like, ugh. It's, this is a lot of work in real life. This is not a 20 minute job like like it seems like on this this would be taking forever we need four small rubber bushings one two three four Get screws uh, oh whoa screen clicked off for a second there. that was weird all right and we need brake discs all right, so we're gonna buy brake discs. We're gonna buy a fuel tank. And we need that fuel tank. Oh, that's our last caliper. Oh, and we need to buy retro rims ten. Okay, retro rim ten. Look for everything. Mm, there it is. Okay. We're gonna have to buy a caliper. Calp. Cal E. -er. There we are. All right. Roll up here. Oh, oh, no, that fuel tank was not full. I was like, wait a second. Did he just put in money that we didn't have to? All right, there's the spring. Putting these rubber bushings. We gotta scroll down here. Oh, man, I love it when we manage to save all the U bolts. Mainly because for some reason, I mean, it's not much at all. I just hate having to go back and buy that rubber U bolts. I don't know what it is, but something about it just kills me. Maybe because it's just such a small thing that I wish I didn't have to do. All right, get these rims on. Then we just gotta put that drive axle in so we can get that four x four going. 
All right, we'll zoom out, double check everything. That all looks good. Put a drive shaft on. Oh, there we go. Scroll around. All right, let's check this really quick. So we are not missing anything. Oh, dang it. 99% condition, that's not too bad. I mean, I'm sure this would probably, it would probably push us over 100,000 if we just went back and edited those pistons. But honestly, I don't really think it's, for $2,000, it's not worth another 15, 20 minutes worth of uh, tearing apart the engine. So we are gonna lower this puppy, put some, ooh, yep, put some oil in it. And then we will send her on its way. All right, let's cancel the motor without putting some oil in it. Some good old 10W30. <laughs> Never use anything else. All right, check that this thing's ready to go. And, ah, it's gone. All right, so let's hop over here to this. 40,000 we bought this thing for a lot more than 40,000. I remember that. All right. Well, we're gonna Wait, what's the body at body 100% good good good. I remember I think I remember doing that Um, so now we are just going to Same motor basically same thing. We're just gonna hop into this take everything apart. I Think this is dang near the same thing well, That's not very interesting for you guys to watch all right, we'll just tear this thing apart as quickly as we can. Get this out. Yeah, we'll see how fast, see how fast we can do this one. Just always gotta be ten part a piece off. Tear down is always the quickest part, though. Easily the quickest part, mainly because you don't have to go through and buy anything. And I did say this will be a roughly an hour long episode, so I mean over an hour I I guess that I, I don't mind. I mean, I think some of you guys don't mind either So I'll probably put links down below I think if I can figure out how I'm not sure I've never done it But I'll put links down below to like each time we start the car or start a different car, so uh, I'll put a link to this and I'll put a link to the Mustang because we're definitely going to be hopping to that Mustang. Because that Mustang is going to be the exciting one. And we're going to supercharge that puppy and it's going to be fast. We're going to take um, our fa our Fastback, uh, the Salem Fastback, which is basically the same thing as that one but a little bit older. And we are going to compare those two in a like a head-to-head -head thing. But that will be in a separate video. And plus we got to edit a few things. We got to put some performance exhaust pieces on the fastback Mainly because I did not know the performance exhaust pieces existed when we did the fastback originally But we will definitely be doing that part There we go Okay, there we go engine covers gone do. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Oh, I thought I clicked it. All right, manifold should just come right off. Spark plugs, spark plugs, spark plugs, spark plug. Exhaust manifolds. Oh, I am really, really, really starting to pick up on these cars, guys. Like. Like, I know every car is different and everything, and when you look at an actual motor in real life, it looks oh, so much different than it does in the game. But, I mean, it's fairly the same. Like, the game is, like, obviously, it's simplified down and everything. Definitely, it takes, they take it down a lot of the steps. Like, you have to take the valves out and all that. But, like, I feel like I understand mechanics and motors and engines and the way things work a lot better now after actually after playing this game like <laughs> my parents would never have thought way back then that playing any video game ever would ever benefit me 
And now look at this. This is actually quite beneficial. And see if they can go with those like those farming simulator videos that I did. Uh, like I've dinked around with that in single player a bit, and I don't get me wrong, I did not know how to farm, and it kind of opened my eyes to it. And there's a lot of freaking steps to getting one crop done and ready. But I mean, this isn't farming simulator, so we don't have to talk about farming simulator. We'll talk about that in farming simulator. All right, so we're just kind of going at it now. I'm just, I'm just trying to take pieces off without stopping now, because I want to get this one done. Because I want to get to that Mustang within the time I'm trying for. So we're definitely going to tear apart that Mustang today, definitely. Alright, I'll take you off. So I gotta get up there and I gotta get the, uh, I gotta get the pistons out, the piston con- piston with- blah, 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 blah. The pistons with connecting rods, I gotta get those out of there. Um, and then I gotta get the crankshaft out and then I gotta go get the engine block out. But, we can't do any of that until we get the flywheels and gearbox out of there. So I'm kind of just trying to get the front suspension done, which I mean I'm going pretty quick right now. I ain't I ain't stopping. It's actually doing pretty well. <laughs> kind of I keep I keep realizing I keep going quiet for a second for a few seconds because I'm really really trying to concentrate on clicking on everything and just tearing everything out. Oh, we can get all these out while we're sitting here too. That's great. Oh, would you look at that? We're almost, we're almost there. Tearing apart this thing. What are we at? A little under, a little under like seven-ish minutes, I think, is what we're on right now. We're tearing this guy apart. If I can get this thing done in ten minutes, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool to tear apart this entire thing in ten minutes and have it ready to go. Man, this gearbox is huge. Yeah, and we only like touch like the little front like six inches worth of gearbox, like. They don't, because I'm pretty sure all these cars in this game are manual. Because the makers of this game are German, I think. So, I mean, European countries drive manuals a lot more common than uh, United States do. do look, does. Um, but manuals are fun. Nobody's ever, if you guys have never driven a manual, I mean, I highly recommend getting a manual as your first car. Some of you probably are a ways off. Some of you might not be. Some of you probably already have cars for a long time now. But if you never have driven a manual, it is... How should I, how should I word this? It is an experience. You, I think everybody should be able to have that experience of driving a manual car. Mainly because I only have ever owned manuals. I've had four cars now, and every single one of them have been manuals. Mainly, in number one, they're fun. They are so fun to drive. Uh, number two, they're cheaper than regular cars. Um, because if you have to get some work done on a manual, it's a lot easier for them to work on the manual engine than it is the or the manual transmission than it is the automatic transmission. And number three, manuals. Not all, not all, don't get me wrong, there's probably a lot that aren't, but almost most manuals are faster than the automatic versions of their cars. They usually have like higher top speed, quicker acceleration, things like that. So that is another reason why I have only owned manuals. And mainly just the fact that they are so fun to drive. Okay, let's get this tire off. It's getting in my way. Oh, they're at two hundred eight thousand right now. Ooh, I think we won't we won't dip below two hundred thousand. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna dip below two hundred thousand because when we go to repair everything and we will repair everything and if it doesn't repair we will sell everything that's not 100 percent 
mainly number one, so we don't get into that issue with the connecting rod, pistons with connecting rods like we did last time. Because that sucked with the last car, with the last uh, truck, is what I'm trying to say. Alright. Oh, we gotta get over here to the pistons. Come on, there we go. Ooh, I'm almost at 19,000 experience, everybody. I'm definitely gonna hit 19,000 experience by the time we finish this car. And that'll mean I get to do another customization option in the garage. And I think I'm gonna edit the windows or these brick walls next. I don't know, whichever one I haven't done, really. And we'll lower this guy down. Because I'm pretty much, I think I've done most of them. So... Can you do an engine swap? No, you can't swap engines. Uh, there we go. I wish, you, I wish they had like specific engines like LS3s or like big block motors, small block motors. Like, oh. Oh, that'd be amazing. Okay, so yeah, we just gotta do walls and windows. So I guess I'll do walls next what I can. So. 20,000 experience basically is the max in this game, I think, for, like, the things you can use your experience points on. So, I think after 20,000, you're kind of out of luck. But anyways, here we go. Just gonna go through and start selling everything. We're just gonna hopefully... Oh, I thought I about lost the, uh... What do you call it? The engine block there for a second. Come on, baby, come on. on a lot of things now wow that that was okay i mean definitely was not our best move i will say that so we'll go through we'll sell junk it's like everything five percent or below and then we're gonna sort everything by condition and we're gonna sell everything that's below what we want i should have probably said warning might hurt your ears here it's gonna might be really loud we're just going through and we're just we're just selling everything as fast as we can. Cause there's so much to sell because we've worked on so many cars recently. We're almost done, we're in the eighties. Eighty five, eighty six, eighty sevens, eighty eights, eighty nines. Woo! That was that was a lot. Okay, so this is everything we managed. Hmm. Let me sell those Salem Spectre parts, mainly because we already put on the body modifications we wanted. All right, there we go. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. All right, everybody, here we go. On to the second part of this engine, or this car, I mean. Not engine. We are now on to the, oh wait, oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta bring him back up, then bring it back down, and then we will be on the second part. Oh, whoa, 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 that was a, that was a little messed up. Ah. Just gotta zoom in, there we go. Oh, did we lose a bearing cap in that process? Ah, oh, we did. Oh, hey, good thing I bought that other filter, though. <laughs> oh. Then we got the uh, bearing cap. Then, you know what? I can buy some of those ahead of time. We have to access the piston or all that stuff from above, but we're going to switch it up and we're going to do the. Oh man, I lost the front suspension cross member. We're gonna do the suspension things parts first. There it is. So we need four rubber bushings. One. Two. Three, there we go. Come on. 
I think it's kind of stupid, though, how they don't let you repair exhaust parts. I mean, I feel like in real life you'd be able to repair exhaust parts. Get the suspension arms in. Let's get everything in that we can right now. Everything we managed to save. And then we'll hop over and we'll do everything that we lost. Or, and, or things that we can't just do like that. Okay, so we need a wishbone. Then we're gonna need some ventilated discs. Oh yeah, we need tie rods. Sway bar B. So tie rods, sway bar. Not top tier. We need oh, la, 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 la. tie. And we need sway bar B. And then we're gonna need some end links. So, oh, whoa there. Sway bar. What? Thought I, did I buy a rear? Oh, I freaking did. That's what I get for being in a hurry, though. on and we need some springs and we need the tops of the springs some springs and spring caps I guess they call them probably shock absorber caps oh this music helps me keep up beat though like it keeps me racing through everything all these tires look pretty good now all right back it up Tie rods in. Did we save both pieces of suspension this time around? Upper and lower? Wow, we did. That's pretty dang good. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, we lost the wheel hub, though. Oh, I bought the right one. I didn't even check to see if it had a letter behind it. Oh, those really can screw with me sometimes. Oh, no brake pads? Alright, get that drive axle in. Alright, front suspension is done! And can we do the flywheel? Ooh, we can. We can start all that right now. So we're gonna need a clutch. So they allow the the clutch plate to be repaired, but they don't allow the clutch pressure plate, nor do they allow the clutch release bearing to be reused which is weird that was a leftover bearing we did not repair that one let me just say that I didn't want to contradict myself right there when I said that make sure everybody knows I right, got the starters transfer case 4x4 oh uh, something I, I really do wish I had I mean I do have like a car that's basically like a Subaru car but it is not a Subaru in the sense of 4x4 sadly ever so sadly i really wish it was a 4x4 subaru or something that had 4x4 drive but it's not it's only a rear two-wheel drive which absolutely sucks in iowa winters but what am i gonna do if i wanted the car that i have i, I love it so much i wouldn't, wouldn't trade it for anything probably i mean minus my last car i really like my last car too but it's so nice i couldn't give it up but Exhaust part B, here we come. Need two of those. Let's just get everything out of the way while we're here. You know what? Let's just do it. We probably managed to repair those, so we're just gonna go for the mufflers. We're gonna need 
catalytic converters. There we go. Now we're flying through these. Oh, we gotta back it up so you can see. Let's go buy a fuel tank and fuel pumps. I know we don't have the fuel tank. Maybe we have a fuel pump. Maybe we managed to repair that one. We did. Nice. You can repair the fuel pumps. I did not realize that. All right. We need... Oh, hey. We bought that earlier. Nice. Weird. We're not actually losing that much here, everybody. Look at that. We got $211,000. I mean, Grant, we haven't started on the, on the engine yet, but... We have the engine block, we have everything. So like, I don't really think we're gonna lose that much. I think we're probably only gonna gain off this car. All right, we're gonna need, well, what is this right here? What is this called? Cause I, we only have one piece right here. We're gonna need another one. Rear wheel hub. So we're gonna need one rear, rear wheel hub. I need two of those. And we're gonna need one small rubber, or two small rubber bushings. Okay, oh, Rubier. Ah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so weird typing right now. I'm so tired for some reason. I worked this morning. And it's got me tired. Rear springs. And then we didn't manage to save the caps. Capo. Cap. There we are. Did you ever pick up those rubber bushings? No, we did not. One, two, three, four. Alright, there's a one. There's two. There's three. All right, there's four. There we go. All oh, we need five. We need six, actually. Man, so many rubber bushings used in these rear pieces. My gosh, I did not remember it being that many pieces last time. Oh. So you need a wheel hub bearing and a brake disc. Wheel hub bearings, two of them. We need a uh, brake discs. We need more brake pads too, I guess. Ooh, there we go. Now we're catching up on our calipers. Now we don't have just an absurd excess of calipers. I remember in like the first like, what? Another small rubber bushing? Remember, like one of my first game, or, or not games or videos. One of the first times I was playing, I uh, I was just doing a bunch of brake jobs and everything, and I went through and I was just like, oh screw it. I bought, I think it was like close to 15 or 16 calipers. It must, have, it was an even number. I remember that. But I went and bought just a ton of calipers just for no reason, and I thought I was gonna use them all really quickly because I was doing a lot of jobs like that. And then they started giving me like jobs in the engines and I was like, oh no, I'm screwed. And I never used like any of them. It ended up being like a total waste. But I mean, I ended up finally after 19,000 experience later, catching up to what I had in calipers at least. And then yeah, keep in mind, I was repairing everything. So I wasn't like using calipers. I might have used the one or two calipers a thing, but other than that, I was not using that many. When we were repairing them, I was I was just like completely just trashing the old ones and buying new ones, mainly because my repair skill isn't that high, and I didn't realize at that time that like repairing is a crazy good thing to do if you know how to do it, like if you have the skill levels for it, and you can manage to like save a bunch of money off of it, kind of like we do. Like we lost nothing for restoring this car, and we're gonna get all the money back on it. Plus the restoration bonus and it being super super nice now, so we made so we lost like fifty forty thousand putting it buying the car, but then we get all the money for actually putting the car back together. So we still we break even no matter what. We 
which is great. All right, now for the actual engine part. This is really weird now that I did this backwards compared to what I usually do. Like, I thought I was done for a second there. I was like, wait a second. I don't remember putting the engine back together. All right, we need a brand new battery. Battery. Manage to save the alternator. That's always good. Air filter base. Need a new air filter. Well, there she is. There she blows. So hopefully everybody's going to stick around for the end of the video. I mean, this is a long, long video. So, I mean, I don't blame some of you if you kind of jump out of it. But when we start putting all those performance parts on the new one. Oh, it's going to be on the new Mustang. It's going to be great. I don't know if we'll get to that in this video because this one is going to be a long, long video. But, oh, I'm so excited to see what I can turn that car into. And I got to go back and edit the old Mustang because it does not have, I don't have any of the pistons, what? It does not have the exhaust pieces that we wanted to have on. So it goes making like almost 800, I think it'll push way over 800 to put these exhaust pieces on, which is really, really, really good. Oh, we were doing the pistons. <laughs> I was just rambling off and I completely lost my track of my train of thought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I gotta count it out because, like, the chings, the chings don't ring up or line up very well. So everything sounds all off when I do it. All right. All right, start putting these heads back together. Really know where to tap that one. Nice, we managed to save the exhaust manifolds. I wasn't sure if we were gonna be able to. Oh yeah, guys. And then oh, I have so many things planned for this series, for the car mechanic series, because like now I know how to use those turbos. I am so excited to use those turbos. Or to yeah, just just to use the turbos because you use them on the four cylinders, and I know a few four cylinder cars in this game that I really want to test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only, what was that, 48 bucks? Something like that. For all those, that's not too bad. The spark plugs are like, like the ones that I, I would buy for my, like my older cars. I think I bought like the NGK, these NGK Iridium spark plugs. And they were all super, super, super expensive. And I don't know, it was just really weird. Mainly because it's like sixteen dollars. Did I buy the wrong one? Oh no, I didn't buy. Oh man. Yeah, they're super super expensive, and uh, I remember one time I didn't I didn't gap them right. So what you have to do is you okay. So you have to gap uh, spark plugs. So the, the gapping is so you see down here right, there's like a little like a hook, and then there's a point, and basically between the hook and the point is where the spark hits. And then that's what ignites the uh, fuel and oxygen mixture to give like the combustion or like the explosion inside your engines that basically makes everything move. So I didn't, that gap wasn't correct. It was a really, really small gap. So my engines kept, or though my engine, my pistons kept misfiring on my car. I had no idea for like probably like a week and a half after driving it, which was really, 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 really bad. And it, it ended up like fouling up all the heads of my uh, cylinders and yeah, it was not, not a good time everybody. So just remember boys and girls out there, don't forget to gap your spark plugs according to what the owner's manual and or repair manual says. <laughs> I completely disregarded that and there's like a special little thing like I know around here we have like O'Reilly's and AutoZone and there's like these things you go in and buy that like look like little keychain things they're actually things to put uh, or to adjust the uh, I spelled that wrong to adjust the um, the gap on your spark plugs so never forget those I need engine 
head cover B. Cover B for a V8. There she is. See, I, sometimes I just get lost. Like, I'm, like, looking, and I'm trying to talk at the same time, and I'm, like, thinking something that isn't, like, lining up with what I'm trying to say, and it just gets all... Everything gets all off. Okay, so we need another water pump, and we'll need the water pump pulley. Then we're also gonna need some rollers. So we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Then we're gonna need a serpentine belt. So here we go. See, like, yeah, I do, if I do cars in a row, like, I start learning, like, especially if I have the same kind of motors in them, I start learning the things I need, and I can just pick up, like, 15 things all at once. Super, super helpful, actually. Oh, I should have bought the crankshaft while I was there, too. Oh, and then I'm gonna need a belt tensioner. Let's get this roller on. I can put a. I can go back and buy that. So we're gonna need tensioner. Then we're gonna need a crankshaft pulley for a V8. I can't remember if upgrading to the supercharged engine, like we're gonna do turns it into a overhead valve or if it stays a overhead cam because this engine is a double overhead cam because there's the double camshafts uh, going by right here and then in the other ones it's a camshaft like right through that runs through the middle of this and then you got push rods that push the valves in and out so that's why it's called overhead valve because the valves are overhead instead of being down below uh the camshafts all right, I need to put the throttle body back together. Kind of wish I would have checked that thing before we finished it. Oh, oil pan. I was totally about to dump oil in there. You know, that's actually interesting. What happens if you dump oil in there and you don't have the oil pan on? I think it'll even let me. I don't know. I don't really want to test it out, actually. All right. Drop this guy down. Put some oil in here. Good old 10W30. Always gotta do 10W30. Oh, by the way, guys, when I say that, I'm joking. Don't always do 10W30. That'd be an awful idea. Okay, so we really did not make that much money off of this car. We made 21,000 ish. Which is eh. Keep in mind, we didn't have to spend too much money on that either. And you're gone. There we go. Oh, that's loud. Ooh, we're about at 300,000. What if we had a million dollars? That would be insane. Ooh. You know, while we're in here, let's match these. Oh. Oh, whoa, I got one lined up. Okay, so I got a plus six now. Oh, it's so close. It's so close, everybody. Okay, I got a plus two. Let's just try and line these left two up. And let's reduce this one. Oh, no, it's not going to match right, will it? Let me reduce this one a few. Got to get a correct ratio is the issue. There we go. There's a proper ratio, but it's only at 6%. Okay, we're just going to write it and leave it. So, I have written down here from last video, 336 horsepower. Let's see what happens after I did that quick tune, if it brings it up a little bit. What? We lost horsepower. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's see what happens now.
This is wacky. What? Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's so close to a correct ratio. So close. Oh, there's an 8%. We'll write that. We'll see what we can get with an 8%. Alright, run that dino. 24. That's still not 336. Oh, man. We shouldn't have touched the ECU tuning. It was doing more than it... What? This is so weird now. Okay, there's one percent. And this is not matched. Those are matched. Fourteen percent proper ratio. Dang, everybody, look at that. Okay, okay, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we get. This gotta be above three thirty six. This gotta be above three thirty six. Nice, okay, that's pretty good. That does some pretty good horsepower. So I guess if we tinkered around with that, we could hit upwards of 19%, which is really good. But anyways, take this pretty guy back to the garage and let's get working on it. Let's get let's get cracking in this. What if, what if I like just accidentally already did this car and it's all done and the engine's all put back together? Okay, so last checked 300. Let me write this, let me write this down, everybody. Just so we don't forget, it's just in case we change this again. So with the tuning, we got 342 horsepower. So now let's move this big boy over here. So let's test out some engine swap capabilities. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna empty swap it. We're gonna need to assemble a new engine from our own parts. Mainly because if we do a right like a, just a swap, I think it'll just completely switch it over, and we won't be able to edit it or do it ourselves. Yes. Oh my god. Oh no, that was so stupid. We completely... <laughs> no! We completely got rid of the entire engine. Oh, that was so stupid. Why did we do that? Why did I do that? No. Okay, we'll just hop into this. Uh, okay, so that just basically took out the entire engine. Oh gosh, that was so stupid. So that just literally got rid of the entire engine that we probably could have sold for like ten thousand dollars. We ended up getting rid of it and paying actually five hundred. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That was that was awful. I feel bad for you guys having to see that. Oh, I wish I would have saved the game before I did that. Well, looks like you guys are going to be able to see this car get almost finished this video since now we got rid of all of that in one shot. All we got to do is take apart all this and we'll, we'll take apart all of this and then we will start the engine and then we'll finish it in another video probably mainly because this looks like it's going to be around in that hour mark in a couple of minutes here. That is quite a while. Oh yeah, you gotta take the spring out. Yeah, you can't take the spring out. Take take the shock out, which is weird. Really weird, actually. All right, come on. <clears throat> and then even got oh, that got rid of everything. Gosh, dang it. Well, if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough about it. So I will learn next time don't hit that button just do the engine swap and pay for it like normal or empty your engine and then do the engine swap whoa we're inside that room there 
Granted, it did make our job a lot quicker, but I'm definitely losing out on a lot of money now because this this uh this performance upgrades they ain't cheap, everybody. They are not cheap. Oh, there we go. Zoom out. Oh, come on. Missing one bushing. Ah, there she is. She already, whoever it is. Get the muffler's out of here. Like, oh no, that that even got rid of our gearbox. No. What? Are there? Is it still saying? Oh, that's glitches. That's so glitchy. Okay. All right. Learn from our mistakes. Learn from my mistakes. At least everybody learn from my mistakes. All right. There we go. I just want to get. I want to get all these rear pieces done so we can start hopping in and we can get that engine started. I at least want to start it. Maybe get the supercharger laid on it. I don't know. We definitely will. We'll, we'll, we'll take apart this entire suspension, and then we will go straight to the engine, and we will finish the suspension, and we'll do all the testing and comparing to the old fastback, or to the old Salem Spectre, in another video. So we'll take these rubber bushings out. Oops, there we go. Lower suspension on. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, I forgot the small rubber bushings don't have any uh, screws in them. They're so much easier to do now. Is that small one? Nope, that's regular rubber bushing. There we go. Get that lower suspension. I'm gonna get that link there. She is. I was trying to hit it, but I couldn't. Oh. oh. We're disassemble disassembling, we're not assembling. Okay, there we go. Almost done here. Dun dun dun. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Yes, there we go. Oh, look at that shell. Really boxy, but I don't know. It's still pretty cool. Oh, look at that. This car is so perfect. <laughs> What's its worth right now, actually? It's worth 17,000. What? What? We're not done? Do you guys see these? What the heck? What the heck? Did you see that? Front spring? Is there really a spring in here still? Oh my gosh, there is a spring in it. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? How is this possible? All right. We'll just take out, actually no, we gotta leave that hood on. We can drop this engine in. Oh, gosh dang, I did it again. All right, we can drop this engine in. Oh, now I gotta go buy, buy an engine block. Hmm, I wish you could buy en any engine block you want, just put it in. Oh, what if they have performance engines? I've never looked before. Okay, no, just the heads. Performance engine heads on V8s. Bought those. That's 10% horsepower right there. That's 
That's an extra 60 horsepower right there, everybody. Roughly, roughly 60. Don't go, don't go double checking my math, anybody. Don't go double checking my math. Oh yeah, I got rid of everything. Oh man, I'm so stupid. Okay, let's run over here and let's repair everything we can really quick. Oh, that's a beautiful sound. Oh, that's not a beautiful sound. I was so happy for a second there. The first like 15 were just like, duh, 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 no sounds at all. Oh man, that had me so excited for a minute. All right, let's do some crankshaft work. We're gonna have to go buy a crankshaft now because I sold the other one. Man, we're gonna have to buy a lot of things now. Oh yeah, we lost like everything. Gonna need three bearing caps. There we go. We gotta get every single performance part in this car. Every single one that we can think of has got to go in this car. So I'm gonna be probably cross-checking here a lot, making sure, so we can buy one of those for sure. And then, I don't remember which one the superchargers take everybody. Don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. We're just gonna leave that. We're gonna leave it be for now. I didn't even buy the filter I needed. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna drop this guy down. We're gonna put some performance pistons in it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I should probably just buy like 40 of those at one time. Buy them in bulk, you know, get that discount. It's like you're shopping at like a Sam's Club or a Costco or whatever those big wholesale stores are that any of you live by. So that, those are the two main ones that I live by because I'm in the Midwest. Oh man, the heads of these engines always look so cool. All right, I don't think we got performance cam chefs. Cam comma, or CA comma. Oh, we do have performance camshafts, duh. Have I been missing those the entire time? You guys know now, we're gonna have to go back to our other ones and we're gonna have to go through and check. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna have to go th back through and check all of the performance parts on the old, on the fastback. Mainly because I'm pretty sure since that was like one of the first ones we did, we missed a lot of performance parts. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure we missed a lot of performance parts. I mean, it's not. Wait, was that one 100%? Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we missed a lot of performance parts, and we need those on there. Otherwise, it's not going to be like a fair test, mainly because we'll probably have every single performance part on this one, and you got to do the same thing for that one. Maybe they'll make the same amount. You know, they might actually make the exact same amount of power if I do everything exactly. Depends, though. Maybe the tunes might be a little bit different. I don't know. Do they? I don't know if they consider weight in this because the old car might be heavier than the new car. Oh, there's so many factors that could add into this, but I don't know if they actually add in in because of this game. I don't. I don't know. Ooh, supercharger intake manifold, baby. There we go. Super. Oh wow, that's just regular. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Oh, man. Have you, any of you ever... Okay, everybody needs to stop what doing right now. Go look up what the inside of a supercharger, supercharger looks like. It is so cool. 
For sure, so it'll blow some of you guys' minds just the way it looks. Alright, I know we got some performance EU. So buy one of those, two of those. Gotta get them bigger uh, fuel injectors. Them higher CC fuel injectors so we can get more, uh, push, push out more power. Put more uh, fuel into the mix. Nothing timing for here. Whoa, that was, that was way off. And then I know, so we're gonna check power steering and alternator. Okay. We don't really know how power steering pump can help increase uh, horsepower, maybe weight reduction, or I don't know. All it does is do is it helps steer. I didn't think it was that crazy for uh, anything like that. So engine head cover B. Head cover A. Head cover B. And then, and then, I remembered. Coil covers. What? Head cover B, V, A? I just, what? I just bought that. Yeah, I bought this one, and I bought that one. What? What the heck? What? Oh. I see everybody, I see. It's the red ones. Silly old me. I forgot, yeah, since like we changed like the motor, like the supercharged motor adds in a bunch of red stuff to it. Oh, no, you get out of there, regular coil. You do not belong here. Oh, gosh dang it. Don't make me go and sell it. Yep, still got the covers though. Um, actually, yeah, there we go throttle. Man, the throttle looks really cool. The black and red. Oh, I wish they would do black and blue, mainly yeah, because blue is my favorite color. Yo. Oh, this this red is blinding. Oh, such a bright red. Okay, there we go. Let's go buy a battery quick. No performance batteries. That's a vat, not a bat. And then ABS. I'm confused here. No automatic braking? I guess not. That's weird. That's really weird, actually. Okay. Whatever. Ah. Uh, I, I, I thought I went through and I sold all those. Oh, that was on the other car. I didn't go through and sell all of them on this car. All right, so we gotta buy clip A. What if you could buy performance clips? Oh yeah. I don't think you can, but that would be funny. All right, so now we need rollers, water pump. All right, so let's just check here for rollers. Nope, no rollers. 
So one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Go over here. Nope. Actually, I don't know if you need a belt tensioner on this one. Let's wait, mainly because I haven't done many supercharged engines. I think I've done like one other supercharged engine. And I'm not sure if you need that or not. All right, now we're gonna do water pump. Don't check down here. Really? Nothing in there for water pump? That's kind of a bummer actually. Is there like a supercharger water pump or just? All right. Oh, come on, let me see ya. I guess you don't need supercharged water pump, boys. Guess that's only for the uh, overhead valve version. It's like we learn something new every day. Then I know that there is no performance crankshaft pulley. In real life, there probably would be, yes, but not in this. Serpentine belt A. I got that roller, and looks like we do need a tensioner for this one. So, it looks like... Okay, so yeah, the supercharger belt was different than the... Uh, so, that one took over belt B, because basically, instead of this winding up and over and under, it goes up, under, over, under. Okay, I see it now. I understand. Just added another curve, just lengthened the belt by probably like two feet. Right, slap a radiator in, the radiator fan. Ooh, we gotta get the manifolds. Um, turbo manifold. No, we're not doing turbo manifold. Can't put turbo on that. I mean, in real life, you can. Yes, yes, but not on this. There we go. These, these look cool. Uh, yeah, you can definitely tell they're the performance kind because the other one is like, it cuts straight off and then goes straight over. Oops, broke my screen there. I'm trying to point and do this at the same time. So like they go straight over, but this one like they come out and they go over and it creates less turbulence and you get higher flow rates, AKA more horsepower, more, uh, more horsies in the engine, everybody. Oh man, I'm really giddy to go find out what the horsepower is on this right now, but we can't from now because we can't move it to the dyno. We can't run it without any tires on it. And we gotta remember, we gotta do the slicks. Let's just do that before actually I end this video. We will make sure we put the slicks on. Uh, oil pan, V8, come on, where you at? Da -da 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 -da. All right, there we go. Okay. Put some oil in it, just so we can finish the engine, and all we have to do is go to the suspension, and then we can do the rest in the next video. All right, we're just about done here. 10W30. It's the third time I've used oil. This is the most time. This is the most I've ever used oil in one video. Three times. Three times. Now, are they sure that there's no ABS modules in here? Does this just not get ABS or something? Whatever, I ain't arguing. Is that a fake hood scoop? Please tell me that's a real hood scoop. Yeah, that's gotta be a real hood scoop. Yeah, cause there's mesh right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty cool. I mean, even though that the air filter is down here, the air intake's down here, I mean, it, if you have the, yeah, yeah. You guys, I'm pretty sure most of you think, you, you'll probably understand what I'm trying to say here. But anyways, uh, probably gonna, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you, everybody, for s tuning in and watching this hour-ish, probably, I think it's a, way over an hour, uh, 
long video. I really, really enjoyed doing this. We, as you can see, we did a lot for this video. Actually, ooh, ooh, let's run over here and do this really quick. Yeah, 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 we can do this one more time. Okay, check out the walls, guys. Check out these walls. All right, what do we got? Oh, whoa. Whoa, what was that? Was that like wood? Or was that camo? Oh, that red looked cool. Oh, whoa. Dang. I think I'm gonna have to do the red. I think I'm digging the red. Yeah, I like it. This shop is coming together, everybody. Look at that, I love it, I love it. All right, but anyways, yeah, thank you everybody for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. If you think this car looks pretty sexy, leave a like. Uh, comment down below what you guys want to see next. If you got anything to say, you want to say hi, say hi, and I'll say hi back. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And I will see everybody in the next video.